hey guys welcome back to another firebase tutorial series and in this series we're gonna build an app in which we can upload pdfs to the firebase then we'll retrieve them and display them in an android app so let us have a look at the topics that we're gonna cover in this series all right so as you can see there are several topics so in this part we will implement this first uh, pdf picker with the help of result launchers and we'll set up our project with firebase will add all the dependencies and then in the next part we'll up, uh, we'll cover up this second and third point which is upload pdfs to firebase storage and add their url to realtime db and then in the next part we'll retrieve the pdfs from realtime db and we'll also integrate the pdf viewer in order to view the pdf and in the last part we will provide download functionality with the help of download manager all right so now let us have a look at the app that we're gonna build in this series so this is main activity in which we have two buttons upload pdf and show all button and then we also have fab button so if i click on this upload pdf it is showing my toast please select pdf first so in order to select pdf we need to click on this fab button and it will take us to the uh, device storage where from where we can pick the pdf so I'll select this research on machine learning and then I'll click on the upload PDF. So as you can see uh, this horizontal progress bar. So upload it successfully. Now I'll click on show all and as you can see these are the PDFs that I have already uploaded. So let me just click on this research on machine learning. and as you can see the pdf has been loaded all right so now i can again click on this download button and it will start the downloading again we also have download progress and at the top you will see uh, this download completed cool and if i just go back and if i click on this so you will see our research on machine learning two times one is where is that oh okay it is here 23 august and this is at 8 25 which is the current time all right so yeah this is what we're gonna create so let me just open the android studio and in here we don't have anything for now so what i will do first i'll click on the tools then i'll click on the firebase and then we'll go to the real-time db I'll select uh, get started with real time DB. So it is asking me to connect to Firebase. Cool, it will open the Chrome or any default browser. So as you can see, uh, I have already created one project. You can just click on this add project and set up the new project. So I'll select the PDF Firebase project. And this is connecting our Android app to this PDF Firebase project. So now I'll click on connect and it is connected. Now I'll go back to Android and yeah, as you can see it is connected and now I'll add the real time database dependencies. So accept changes and we'll also require the storage. So I'll just go back and cloud storage. So real time DB dependency has been added. So now I'll click on this add the cloud storage SDK. So I'll click on accept changes. So all right, everything has been set up correctly. So now I'll minimize the Firebase assistant and let's just open the Chrome. And as you can see in the PDF Firebase project, we have app, which is a PDF Firebase app. So let's just open and check the package. Yeah. So now what we need to do in the Chrome, uh, in the firebase we need to click on this all products and we need to click on the real time db and then i'll click on the create database so now i'll click on the next and start in test mode i'll click on enable then i'll select all products again and now this time we need storage so i'll click on the storage click on the get started start in test mode click on the next and done uh, click on done so all right our storage and real-time db is set up correctly so now i'll go back to android and in the activity main 
i have already prepared the layout so you will get the source code in the description box so you can just uh, check out the part 1 branch code so we'll go to the main activity uh, before that what we'll do we'll go to the build.gradle module app level we'll set up the view binding so in order to enable the view binding we write build features view binding equals to true all right so i'll close this and in the resource so in here we can just write item status bar color and i'll select a uh, secondary color yeah let me just uh, show you the colors that i already added so this one is the primary color and this one is the secondary color so you can copy this hex code or you can use your own colors as well so yeah now i'll close the themes and i'll close the colors so first of all what we'll do we'll create one latent var for our binding so latent var binding this is equals to activity main binding cool and then over here we'll initialize the binding so binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator and then instead of this resource file or layout file we can just return or we can just pass binding dot root over here all right so in this video we'll just implement the pdf picker so in order to do that we need to add on click listener on this floating action button we can just rename it or we can just change its id so this should be select pdf button and we need to copy this paste over here yeah so we can just add on click listener on that button so select pdf button set on click listener cool so as on activity results are deprecated what we'll do uh, we'll create one launcher so private file launcher and this will be equals to register for activity result and here we'll need to pass activity result contracts dot get contained and we can have lambda expression over here and we get uri so i'll just rename it as a uri and what i'll do i'll create one variable at the top so private val or we can create it as a var we'll give it name as a pdf file uri we'll make it we'll make it nullable so uri and this is equals to null cool then we can assign this the uri that we get over here pdf file uri equals to uri so so whatever the pdf user selects uh, we get the uri over here and then we can just assign it to pdf file uri that we created at the top all right so if you look at the activity main here we have one text which is a file name so what we need to do uh, we need to get the file name from this uri and then we'll just set it to that text view so for that what we'll do i'll create one val which will be file name and this will be equals to document file dot from single uri and here we need to pass context context and the uri so as it is nullable we need to wrap it with the let cool and then you can just uh, set this file name to the binding dot file name dot text equals to file name cool so now we just need to call this launcher in this set on click listener so what i'll do i'll just write launcher dot launch and here we need to specify the application slash pdf and in order to get the images what you need to do you just need to write image and star so this is how you get the images from uh, with the help of the register for activity results 
but we want to get the PDFs only so I'll just remove this and we'll try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not all right our application has been installed so now uh, what I need to do I need to click on this PDF and yeah it is taking me to the device storage from which I can just pick uh, any of the PDFs I'll select this as you can see its name v415 so we didn't get the name of the file right let me just look over here yeah okay uh, we just need to write dot name over here so yeah only then it will give us the name of the file so let's just uh, rerun the app and we'll see it's working or not so yeah it has been installed and now if i click on the fab select this yeah so this is working now so that's it for this part and next part will be a bit longer uh, because we will upload pdf files to the firebase so yeah uh, that's it do subscribe and stay tuned for the next part thank you for watching